In this lesson, we're going to talk about solving a system of two linear equations using a determinant. And so we'll focus on a two by two determinant here. We'll look at solving any system of equations shortly. A determinant is actually a property of a matrix. And we don't really get into matrices here or matrix. And as those are our topic in 1101, all we need to know is a determinant. So what a determinant is, is it something that looks like this? These two lines actually mean determinant, or find the determinant of the numbers contained in it. And the numbers are arranged in rows and columns, and the first column has the coefficient of the x variables, and the second column has the coefficient of the b of the y variables. So we have a1, a2, b1, b2. To find the determinant, we actually multiply a1 and b2. That's this one. And then we subtract the other two, multiply it together. So we multiply on the diagonal and subtract them. So that's how we do it. So let's find this determinant then. So to find the determinant, we're going to multiply 5 with minus 8 and subtract 3 multiplied by 4. That's negative 40 minus, minus 12, which is negative 50. Two. And that's it. That's the determinant of this 2 by 2 mat matrix. Some vocabulary that might be useful. A1, A2, B1, B2 are called elements. Anything in the determinant is called an element. These two lines mean determinant. Square brackets around the same thing would mean the matrix. So this is A2, B1, and B2. So this is the matrix A1, B1, A2, B2. This is the determinant of that matrix. So just a little difference that you'll see in 1101. So we have elements. Left to right, we call them rows. Up down, we call them columns. And starting on the top left to the bottom right is called the principal diagonal. So those are some words you might hear. Example 7, we want to evaluate another determinant, so we're going to multiply the principal diagonal, 4 times 17 minus 6 times 3. And that gives us 58 minus 18, which is 40. So that's how you find a determinant. Now the question is, how does the determinant help us solve a system of equations? And to answer that question, we have something called Kramer's Rule. And Kramer's rule is what we're actually going to use to solve the system. So Kramer discovered that if we substitute the first column of the matrix, find the determinant using the answers to our system, and by answers I mean the part that's going to come after the equal sign, which we're going to set up as the constant. So if we put those in for the x coefficients, keep the y coefficients, and you'll notice the bottom, we've got the x and y coefficients then that actually tells us the value for x. And similarly for y, instead of writing the b coefficients here, we're going to replace them with the constants, and that'll give us the y value. So the system that they're talking about there, because I know that was a little confusing explanation, is actually this system that was on the first page, where we have any linear system at all of two variables, where a1 and a2 are the x coefficients, so to find x, we replace the x with the constants that come at the end. And to find y, we're going to replace the y coefficients on top with the constants at the end. So here's that explained in words. Let's go ahead and do this, and you'll see that this actually is going to work for any size system. Not just 2 by 2, although that's the easiest to do by hand, but any size system at all. So we're going to solve this system here. And the first step is to write it so we have the x's, the y's, and the constants, just like we had above. Here we have the x's, then the y's, equal sign, and constants, so it's in the right form. So to find x then, it's going to be the determinant divided by a determinant. The determinant in the denominator is the standard x coefficients, y coefficients, so that's going to be 2 and 5, the x coefficients, and 1 and negative 2, the y coefficients. Now, because we want to find x, we're going to replace the x coefficients in top by the constants. So instead of 2 and 5, we're going to write 1 and negative 11. And for the y coefficients, we're just going to keep them. If you can find both these determinants, you'll find x. 
Similarly for y, let's look at what y is going to be. Well, we're going to keep the x coefficients, and we're going to replace the y coefficients now with the constants. So that's 1 and negative 11. The denominator, we keep the x coefficients, and we keep the y coefficients. So it's only the numerator, or the determinant in the numerator, that's changing. So 1 times 2 minus 1 times negative 11 over 2 times negative 2 minus 1 times 5. And that tells us 2 plus 11 is 13 over negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. So there's x. So that tells us that x is equal to negative 13 over 9. Why? We get 2 times negative 11 minus 1 times 5 over 2 times negative 2, 1 times 5, but that's exactly the same as the denominator here, so we know that's going to be negative 9. And that's negative 22 minus 5 is negative 27 over negative 9, which is equal to 3. So y equals 3. So we solve our system. We have the solutions for x and y. So that's just another technique. You could have solved this with substitution, with elimination. But now we've solved it using Kramer's rule, or determinants. So when you see using determinants, that means with Kramer's rule. A couple of notes to remember when you're doing these before we finish this lesson. Make sure the equations are written with the x, then the y, then the constant. They have to be written in that order for this to work. If the determinant in the denominator is 0, well, if that happens, we can't divide by 0, so there's a problem. There's no solution. That's because the system is inconsistent. That means the whole system has no solution. And the only exception to that is if the numerator and denominator both are 0. So if both the numerator and denominator are 0, and the system is dependent, meaning there's many solutions. So this is no solution here, and this is many solutions. So as always, if you're not understanding, make sure you get some help, come see me, go to the Math Help Center, whatever it takes, and we'll see you in the next lesson.